CataractCoach.com, plateau iris leads to angle closure. So using a multifaceted approach to help control the IOP and improve the patient's vision. So here's a complicated case. To the only eye of a plateau iris patient with pressure of 35 or more on max meds plus Diamox, patient already had argon laser, iridoplasty, YAG PI, chronic angle closure, and of course cataract. So fake was already done. Now, gonioseniculolysis, GSL, using microforceps here, grabbing the iris gently and trying to pull it out of the angle here. So that opens the angle partially, but there's still some bumps along the iris root secondary to the prominent ciliary processes in this syndrome. So he's going to now do after this, oh, look at that, some ECP, endocyclophotocoagulation with the diode laser. Well, I'll show you that as well. So a little bit of bleeding here is pretty normal. Be careful. You can disinsert the iris if you're too forceful. So you've got to be gentle here. So doing that goniosneculysis, now evacuating out the blood, that's going to help too. Now injecting a little bit of viscoelastic just to help open it up a little bit more. There's that viscoelastic. There we go. And injecting that around. Now a little bit of helon under the iris to access the ciliary processes. And there we go. And there's the ECP curved probe. Again, that's endocycle photocoagulation. So you can use that diode laser to paint the ciliary processes to shrink it. And also the, in the valleys there, not just the processes, to help reduce the IOP. So he's going to do this for about 150 degrees of the nasal ciliary process. And then here you go, delivering that laser energy. And then this is a video taken of the ECP monitor that you're looking at. And then you can afterwards do repeat gonian. You'll see it's a wide open angle. So at the end of the case, putting some triamcinolone in the eye as well and flush out the sulcus. And then it helps the catalog particles. that will actually stick to the inflamed ciliary process and help reduce the inflammation. So here you go, removing again viscoelastic with the IA probe. Here's the kenalog we're talking about into the anterior chamber, but also to the ciliary processes. This is dilute kenalog, 0.1 milligrams in one cc. And this is really going to help reduce that post-op inflammation. This patient did amazingly well with 20-20 vision, pressure of 10 to 14 on just COSOP for the last seven years. And this really is a fantastic treatment. So these are complex cases. So here we go. This is another different case showing the spray painting technique. This case... The um, ciliary processes are painted with the diode laser. Again, this is a better view than the previous case. And then look at the variation and differences in the size of the ciliary processes. And no one really knows the significance of the size variation of the ciliary processes. And they all look a little bit different here. But again, this diode laser, both on the processes and in the valleys, is going to help reduce aqueous production and therefore reduce intraocular pressure. And again, patients like this can have a beautiful outcome. So remember, it does take a multifaceted approach to help these patients control the pressure and see better. Remember to check out our podcast. Just last week, we had the podcast with Dr. Ayala. So amazing. You will learn so much. I promise you're going to love it.